What's up everybody, Patrick from WP Builder Helper, and in today's video we're going to be building a WooCommerce store with Zion Builder. We've already built some WooCommerce stores before, but now we're going to build it with Zion and we're going to take it through and we're going to go through and I'm going to walk you through each and every step. I'm going to try and not make these videos too long, so let's get started. What's up everybody? So let's dive into this and let's go through it. So first off, I want to mention um, something specifically. I'll probably, so I use Crello uh, to make the logo just because they had an easy logo maker. Generally, I like Glorify app or something like Canva better than this because there's a lot of things that this is mentioned uh, missing, but you know, that's my own personal opinion. You can feel free to use whatever you want to when you're building your website. Also use Jump Story to get most of my images because Jump Story just has a really, really good deal. So I use them. And then I use Tiny PNG just to compress them. Um, Could have used probably something like Short Pixel or whatever, but I wanted to use Tiny PNG anyway because it just does a really good job of compressing. And so it's just a basic website anyway. We're not doing anything crazy with it. Uh, on the back end, in the settings tab of uh, Zion, let's go in and look. I think it's in this portion. I did have some fonts that I've used because this logo that was originally set up uses uh, Naruto. I'm going to keep using that in Naruto Sans for the body. So this will be the headings. That'll be the body. I don't have any custom icons. I don't have any permissions, templates, tools. Um... I think in the general settings, I was going to say I thought that I had somewhere. It might have been in tools. No, it might be in system info. I don't remember where I put it. Somewhere I've got some global colors. Uh, I couldn't remember. Oh, there they are. So they're right here. So these are the colors that are taken specifically from this logo. So I'm just using the same colors that they use just to make it easy. Um, just makes the whole entire process a little bit more easy rather than hunting and pecking for fonts and colors and things like that. Uh, as we go through it, if I find other colors that I want, probably white, black, things like that, um, I'm going to add them here just so as we continue to go on, like I said, it'll just make it all easier. So with that said, let's get started. And the first thing we're probably going to want to do is go to the theme builder. And let's grab a header and a footer. So we're going to add a new, the entire site. Oh, well, this is for, I'm sorry. We're going to click right here, add new component. And we can go in here and we can edit. And I'm also using like a default theme. So there's no special theme with this. Um, just a very basic theme. And from here, we're going to go to library. I like building, when I'm building something that's basic like this, I like building it uh, from scratch using library items, unless I'm doing something custom for somebody. Then I'll go through and I'll do something custom. But for this, I'm going to go through um, and just build it with library items because most of the library items that they have are, are really uh, work quite well, and I think I want to keep it like that. So this one looks pretty good. I'm not sure if I'd like that one. I think I want more of this one because I want there to be a big giant image. I don't know, we might have to play with this. Let's, can I preview this item? So let me preview it first. Yeah, I mean, besides the colors being ugly, I don't know why they have these lines either. I think the lines you could do without having these borders. Um, They almost look like, it's weird. The borders almost give you the illusion that they're gradients, but I don't think they are. Uh, I don't, mind this but uh, I don't like all of that I don't want to go through all of that I mean that's not I'd rather just go with a basic so there's this one and this one and the only difference I can tell with this one is that this one's two let's go with this one let's go with the pro for this one let's build it with this and if I have to move me, I will move me down to the bottom right here just to just to make it easier. So let's see how they have this set up. So we're going to go in and delete 
uh, the social icons because for me, we're not using any social icons for this. And the logo is, I believe, a text logo. We're not going to use that uh, either. Although we probably should insert our other logo that's in here. So let's pick an image. Image. And let's go in there and select it. And I think we can choose dynamic site logo, but I don't know if we have our, yeah. See, our site logo isn't set up. So typically we would want to go in and we want to do that. So for right now, I'm not going to set it for site logo. I'm just going to go in here and pick city wine. And then once again, I'm in the way. I love when I get in the way. It's such a pain in the butt when you're moving everything around. That logo is a little bit too big, so we're going to shrink that down, but I think we can just dump it down to about that, maybe that. Um, that still seems a little bit tall for what I want, but I think that's because of the margin that's in here. There's quite a lot of margin that's in this base, so let's go in and let's edit this and let's change the margins should be in wrapper sizes and spacing you'll see it's got 30 let's change this to something like um let's change it to 10 maybe let's see if that works i don't even know do you have to put in pixels oh you do interesting so it didn't even see the 10 i noticed that it wasn't making hardly any changes it didn't see the 10 until i until i basically told it 10 pixels so that's pretty good to know and then this is fine. I don't have any issue with this. I do want to change the color of this because I think I want to change the color of this too. I'm not into this color. So uh, I think that's first level menu items and then typography. And then we're going to choose one of our red colors. Okay. And then... Go back in here and you should see the mobile. We could look at the mobile just to see it. Let's see what it looks like. So on mobile, it just looks like that, which I'm fine with. I don't, I don't have an issue. This logo is still on mobile. It's, it's a bit too big. I wonder if I can set it for a custom height and width. I wonder if I could set it by percentage. Like, can I just set it to 100%? a hundred percent probably can't but yeah I didn't think that that would work so in order to style that that's not the way I want it I don't want it custom but 150 is just entirely too big I wish that there was a way that you could style let's see let's look at image styles um, and then we'll go to size and spacing and height and width. So this might give me the ability. Ah, this does. So this is what we want to do. We want to do with 100 and can we set that to this? So maybe let's drop this down. That's a little bit too small. Let's go 75. I don't mind that. And then height. 75 and we want to go with percentage two okay that's not bad that's better than it was certainly uh, it's not bad that's and then is it still at that no it's not okay perfect so you can set custom style so i'm fine with that i don't have an issue with that let's change this button uh they do have these hover effects let me go back in and change the hover effects Oh, here we go. So the place that you want to go to to get to this is actually right here. It's hover. There's before, after, active, focus, and all of that. But hover is where you want to get to where you can see this other color. So we're going to set it to red so that uh, upon rollover, I'm sure we'll have to exit out of this in order to get it to work. So upon rollover, it'll turn slightly red, although you don't hardly see it. But... It's good enough for me for right now because it doesn't have to be anything crazy. Um, this button, I tell you what is bothering me. Let's look at this. Let's just select this from the button. It's 
sometimes grabbing the elements um, are not as easy as they could be. So this tree paint, this tree pane comes in quite helpful. So in this, we're going to choose a background color. I think I want the darker color instead, even though it's it's mild. Of course, we could do like a gradient. Um, I don't hate that idea. Let's see if we can make our own gradient type. So oh, let's see. So you have to select two colors. So we would select this and then this. It's very, very subtle. It's weird. The red is like I almost want it like that because it's so subtle that you can't even see it. But at the same time, can we add this to our... Can we add this red? Okay, cool. We're going to add that red. So now we've got like three different types of reds. And we might go back and edit that menu just to have an extra red that we could use. But I like that. And then we'll go back in and we'll go to the button. We'll go to button style, default, hover. And then on the background for this, I just want to make it turn a certain color. So I think just plain red is fine. I don't think we need to do anything crazy. And it's probably not going to show in this. All right, so we're going to go back here, go back to the menu, tell it to edit. Because I screwed up on the styling, change this back to hover. And let's go with a darker red. Let's go with that. I like that a lot more. So now, yeah, it's you can kind of see it a lot more. There's just a little bit more contrast there, and I like that. So that's perfect, and this would essentially be our header. It doesn't have to be anything complex, um, although we don't want get in touch for this. I don't mind the rest of this, although we're going to add stuff to our menu items, so it's kind of give or take. I'll deal with the get in touch a little bit later when we go deeper, when we go into a deep dive into it. But so far, I don't mind this. This menu item, though, is a little bit funky the way it's set up. Uh, mobile menu, sub menu indicator. Let's see what this does. It even let you see what this looks like. It's kind of hard to click on. Yeah, I can't click on it. I have to go view it in the the front but that's all right that's not a big deal i could go into here and start looking at the styling that they have so i think mobile menu trigger is this and I'm not sure if color ma makes a difference with this oh it does okay so we kind of want that for our mobile menu and then on hover we want to stick with the same type of uh same type of theme, like we want it to go a little bit darker. And then from here, we're going to go mobile menu wrapper, but there's not anything in there. Sub menu wrapper. So we're going to see. We're going to see where this goes. There might be some stuff we have to adjust. We'll adjust it on the, uh, the back end after we kind of look at it and see. So from here, we can go to save and publish page. And then... Um, and then we can close this component. And that looks good. I'm happy with that. Let's go to the footer. Let's edit the footer. So we're building, the whole point of this is we're building a whole entire WooCommerce, basically, uh, page with this. And if you're somebody who's new to Zion, um, just be aware that right now they are doing a special promo that is on the WooCommerce that's on uh, AppSumo store. So if you're somebody who's interested in getting Zion, I would highly recommend you take a look at it. I bought it. I think it's a really, really good deal for what they're um, what they're charging. I think it's fair and I like the way that they're doing what they're doing. It's um, it's really cool. It's neat to see businesses that kind of come out and they listen to their communities. So if you're somebody who is thinking about getting into Zion, definitely, if you're liking what you're seeing, you're like, hey, this looks pretty neat, definitely take and, um, you know, do that. Take and jump in and take it for a ride and see what you think about it. 
I know that not everybody, it's not everybody's cup of tea, but for me, I've so far, I've enjoyed it a lot. It's got a lot of functionality in things that I really, really like about it. So this line above here, I'm pretty sure, I'm trying to see where that's coming from or anything that's there. These are the only things. So the green light here basically is telling you that there's something that's been touched by this and everything else is not. So as you can see, this hasn't been touched, the border shadows, the display, none of that. And so this is a bit different from your standard builders because your standard builders, this is like more of like a traditional CMS type builder where you're actually looking at the styling that you would from uh, CMS itself. And it's pretty neat. It's got a lot of different options that are in here. As a matter of fact, it's really, really powerful. If you're if you're somebody who can take and wrap your head around how some of this works, then you're not going to have a hard time at all figuring this out. This is also one of my favorite things that they've added. This little column feature where I can go in and I can select here. There's so many ways to get to what you want to get to. I'm so used to the elements or old school where I typically want to click the toolbar, but there's other ways that are more efficient like this. And I've always thought that that was pretty cool. I like the way that they did that. Um, for the most part, I can leave this alone. I'm going to come back to this and see. They've got like a styling. Something is stylized with this where it's got that little line on top. And I'm sure I'll figure it out, but I don't want to waste you guys time. Time is essential. So this looks good for right now. I'm going to go back in and I'll change up the contact info or whatever. But I just wanted to make this very basic. So we're going to go to uh, Save and Publish. And then we're going to close this out. And now you can see we've got our head and body and footer saved. Well, we don't have a body yet, but we're going to have a body. So one, one thing to note, always save your stuff. And then if we go to the pages, you'll see we already have some pages that are in here. Most of these are from... Most of these are from... Uh, actual shop page from WooCommerce, but as you can see, I was kind of playing with some things. So we'll add in a new home page because we're going to need a home page, and we'll just call it home. See, once again, it looks like there's it looks like there's a customization. If I had to guess, it's on the H1 because you can see right here, it's got the same thing. So if I had to guess, there's somewhere in this. I bet you, I know what it is. I bet you I know what it is. So we're going to go back to dashboard. I know what's causing it. Okay. I know what's causing this. At first, I was confused with what was causing this, but I bet you I know what's causing this. It's coming from here. It's not coming from Zion. God, I hate that. See, and that's one of the reasons that for me, it's just easier to take and go with something like this because I'm going to install Bloxy because Bloxy doesn't come with that pre-styled bullshit that comes with WordPress. I hate when they style stuff. One of the things that you have to remember is that oh, that should not be there. Um, let's close that out. Um, one of the things you have to remember with themes is they come with their own CSS and all of that jazz and Sometimes those themes can put in their own stylings. So here I am being an idiot, thinking that it's actually Zion, and it's not Zion, it's Blocks. It's, uh, it's the actual default theme from WordPress. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. So now if we go back into that page, I'm not going to have to go full width and do it the way I was doing it. I'm, I'm just not going to have to do that because Bloxy's a better theme overall, so you don't have to worry about that. I will have to change the background color, though, because as you can see, this uses a default of like a gray, and I'm not big on that whole entire gray. But let's play around with this and at least get started because I know that you guys are interested in seeing what we end up doing. Let me move me over to the side over here. And let's go to library again, because like I said, I'd rather go through the library and let's go for the hero headers 
and let's look for something. So the thought process is we are building a winery, obviously, just looking at the logo. It's a winery. Um, and so we want something that's pretty cool looking, but it doesn't have to be uh, obnoxious. It could be something basic. What is this blue UI? Oh, these are some these are some different UI things. It's weird. There's there's some different there's home pages that are already here. Although this is a, a basic home page, I'd like to see more stuff from them. Like see some more stuff put out. This isn't bad. I mean, this it's weird the way they did it. Was one green and one's are they the same exact thing? But just one's green and one's black. I'm not exactly sure. That's weird. So that's not coming up. Let's go back. Let's see what this does. Does this come up? Nope. That's not showing it coming up either, which is a bit strange. So let's start with something basic. Like, let's get this. Like, I like this, even though this doesn't look like something that you would normally pick because we're going to go in here and we're going to change some of this out. I don't think we need a computer. Let's grab a bottle of wine. I think this one has no background. Yeah, that one has no background. Let's add that. Wow, that's a big bottle of wine. Let's set it to medium thumbnail. Nope, nope. Okay, let's set it to full. And then go into image styling and like we did before, max width. Okay. Wow. Um, let's change oh, the minimum width. Let's change the minimum width not to that because that seems scary bad. Um, let's change the minimum width to something like that. Well, we could always do like this. But then that looks funky with the background. It kind of looks like this still has a background on it. I was almost sure that it didn't. But it looks like it does. Let's go to view. We have view width. So that's it. But this looks like it has like a background or something on it. And I don't want that. I want something like maybe that. Let's go with this. And see, that still looks like that has a background on it, too, even with the styling. So might end up having to play with this to get it exactly how I want it. Although that's pretty close. I mean, that wouldn't be bad. I'll just have to crop this out, which I can do inside of anything. Um, so I can do that. So... I tell you what, even though we haven't gotten very far, let's stop right here. I was worried about this being too long. We'll pick it up in part two. In part two, we're gonna be doing some major things, working on the homepage, getting everything set up. WooCommerce is already set up on the back end. I'm going to save this page just so we know, but WooCommerce is already set up on the back end. I'm gonna do some customizing so that everything looks nice and pretty and we don't have anything that's out of place. And then we're gonna go from there. All right, so I will pick up in part two, which will be coming sooner than later. Thank you guys, and I will see you guys next time.